Okay, so here what we're looking at is we are looking at a central carbon atom, which I have in red, all right? That carbon atom is sp3 hybridized, so it has four groups attached to it, which I'm showing as a green atom, a yellow atom, a purple atom, and a blue atom. Now, this is an sp3 hybridized carbon with four different groups attached. Therefore, this carbon is a stereocenter. Now, here we're looking at a mirror, and here we're looking at the mirror image of this molecule. You can see that the reds line up, the purples line up, the yellows line up, the blues sort of sticking back here, and on this molecule, it's sticking back there. They are mirror images of each other, okay? They are mirror images, but they are non-superimposable. So what that means is, if I grab this molecule here, this one in the mirror, if I grab that molecule and I bring it out here, and my goal here is, can I superimpose these two molecules? Meaning, can I overlay them with each other? So I'm gonna try to line these up. I'm not gonna do it completely so we can still see everything. But we can see, I can get those red atoms to line up. I can get the blue atoms to line up and I can get these green atoms to line up. But I can't get the yellows to line up and I can't get the purples to line up. And no matter how I move this molecule around, no matter what I do, I'm not gonna be able to superimpose all these atoms. So here I have the yellows lined up, the reds are lined up, the greens are lined up, but now the purples and the blues, they are not lined up. Doesn't matter what I do here. Keep rotating it all I want. Now I don't have the blue and yellows lined up, but I have the purples, the, the reds and the greens lined up. So what that means is these two things, they are, they are non-superimposable mirror images, meaning they are mirror images, but I can't superimpose them. Therefore, these two molecules are enantiomers. They have the same connectivity, same atoms, but different spatial arrangements.